Okay, so now we're going to back into our berth. And for the purpose of this demonstration, we haven't got a whole heap of wind, but we're going to simulate that we've actually got the wind from the north. We're in West Hive Marina, and the wind from the north would actually be astern of us now. And this is the sort of approach you'd want to take to get into our berth. All right, my crew's fully briefed. Fenders are out. I'm primarily concerned about the uh, swim platform on the back. It is hydraulic, um, so if I bump that, it'll be easy to damage and cost a lot of money. So that's why I'm actually helming the boat from uh, back here. So I've got good visibility. Not too worried about the bow. It's actually the stern I'm more concerned about. So we're going to bring her in. Now again, I don't want to hear any nonsense about not using thrusters. As I always say, if you've got thrusters, use them as and when you require. I'll, I'll do a lot of this maneuver um, not using too much on the thrusters, just for demonstration purposes, uh, for people who may have a vessel without thrusters. But if you, if you have got thrusters, by all means use them. Now the key here with a bit of wind behind us is to just come back and uh, depending on the wind strength obviously, we want to get the pivot point on the vessel, and I've explained that in a previous video, but we want to get the pivot point of the vessel in between our uh, mooring piles, which is about now. So the pivot point of the vessel is right in between the piles, and I'm bringing the vessel to a stop by just utilizing forward on the port engine. All right, that just stops the vessel and um, begins our turn to starboard. I call it killing two birds at one stone. It stopped the boat and began our turn to starboard. All right, so forward on the port, reverse on the starboard, keeping an eye up in the front. And John, if I have any, if I get within five meters of anything um, uh, on the bow, just let me know. She's looking good. Slow is pro. And now we just begin our maneuver and bring her in. Now I do feel a bit of wind pushing us um, off to port. So as I say, a little bit of thruster. Boats were built with thrusters for a reason. Now I am thrusting the bow, which is bringing the stern closer to the dock. So I'll give my stern a little thrust to starboard. Just a few little jabs. Now I could have cracked that sort of situation by two methods. I could reverse back, as you see now, on my starboard engine. That, sorry, correction, port engine. That pulls the uh, stern away from the dock. Or I just chose to thrust, because it was the easier option, to be fair. Okay, we're coming in a bit of a bit of an angle, so I'll straighten that, that up, but a bit of um, forward on the port. She's nice and straight now, and continue bringing her back on both engines. Now, if you have the wind, as I say, stronger coming from the uh, our starboard side. You don't need to worry too much because we got cushions all along the dock here. I always encourage resident births to have plenty of cushions. And we're so shortly going to go into forward three, two, one. There we go. A little bit of forward, both engines, just to, to bring the boat to a complete stop so we don't hit that expensive part on the backboard. There we are. Nicely done. We're home.